Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi De Salovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you guys are so welcome indeed. And thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun because you guys love a lot of how to dress and you know how to sit. You guys really love those episodes that I'd done for you. And some of you had said for me, I am going out. I'm going out for interviews. I'm going to go and see my husband's family. I want to know how to speak elegantly. <laughs> so I said, why not? have an episode really on how to speak elegantly. Now, a lot of you know, when I start my uh, episode, I'm always big and loud. Hello, Fumi Nation, how are you? <laughs> how are we? <laughs> it's not elegant. It is fun, it is upbeat, and it is loud. When you're speaking elegantly, we try to bring the volume down. So, for example, I would speak like this. That would be the volume. So that somebody standing by you at least a feet away will most probably hear you but not necessarily hear what you're saying because you're not too loud. When you are loud, you override other conversations to the point that sometimes we stop and we look, who is that person talking? But we mean... Who is that person being loud? <laughs> Who is that person being loud and interrupting my vibe and energy conversation with your party? At a restaurant, in a subway, supermarket, anywhere. To speak elegantly is to not to speak loudly. And you will find that when you speak in a lovely even tone, people will strain to hear you. They are interested in what you have to say. I do that a lot, especially in business meetings. I do that at formal occasions and at galas. If I am with my girlfriend at home, I'm not going to speak to Christina like this. Christina, darling, how are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> She'll be like, Fumi, what's wrong with you? <laughs> when you are speaking elegantly, number two, you don't slouch. You don't. You really don't. When, when you think about it, you don't slouch. You don't stand a certain way. Oh, my God. You know, you don't. You really are standing in an elegant fashion. You're sitting in an elegant fashion. When you speak elegantly, you indirectly begin to be proper. So you prop yourself up. You behave yourself. I do that a lot when I go out because I meet Fumi Nation everywhere. And I've come to realize I was shocked. I went shopping in Cali. Yes, I did. And I came out of Louis Vuitton. And one of you sent me a picture coming out of Louis Vuitton and said, Fumi, I saw you. I couldn't stop, but I just wanted to let you know that I saw you. And I was so happy that I was properly behaved because sometimes I'm laughing and screaming with my friends and stuff like that. And I realized, Fumi, you cannot do that in public. So what I've come to realize Truly, and I'll do an episode for you as well, how to dress elegantly ties in with how you speak elegantly. When you speak elegantly, you always prop yourself up. You're always sitting up. You realize that there is a respect you give of yourself and of the person you're speaking to. That's why you're speaking in that tone. Also, when we speak elegantly, there's a tone about us. There really is. You find yourself being polite. So it's not a matter of, oh, hi, Christina, how are you doing? How are you? It would be more, hello, Christina, how are you? How are the children? Oh, you look good. You give that person a compliment. You say hello. You, you would most probably say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You give off that tone of being polite. 
I leave a lot of messages for you, for Fumination. There are some times where I feel texting does not do the job all the way. I want you to hear the comfort and tone of my voice. Because whatever you have sent me, I feel as if they need a hug. So I send you a message and I tell you, how are you? This is Fumi. You're doing a great job. I'm so, 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 so proud of you. Love you. Send me a message to my email. Let's chat, blah, blah, blah. It's always part of elegance. Oh, she's so elegant. She was so polite. She was thoughtful to ask how I was. How are the children? How's your day? That is part of speaking elegantly. And because you speak in that way, they speak like that to you in return. For me, how is Adrian? For me, nation, top tier. You're good with that. How is Adrian? How is Ula? How are you? How are we? You repeat that to me. Happy Easter for me. Happy Easter to you and yours. You know. Another very important point. When you want to speak elegantly, it's your command of English. It's the command of the language. Which means that you have to increase your vocab. Increase your vocabulary. Have more words that you can use to express yourself. And you do that by what? By reading. I love literature. I love reading all kinds of books. And sometimes I laugh to myself. And it really, still till now, it improves my spelling. It improves my writing. I love the way I've read a sentence or a certain character express themselves and I will pick it up. A lot of you have said, for me, you say uh, copacetic quite often. That's my new word. I love it. I was reading a book and one of the ladies said, oh, it's just so copacetic. I ran over to go and find exactly what it meant. It means that it has all come together wonderfully. That's what it means. So I love it. I said, yes, it's got to be like copacetic. By reading, you increase your vocabulary and you really become fun and interesting and ever so elegant in conversations. Because you will find yourself in interesting circumstances where you're going to galas, you're going to a dinner, you're going to an event, you're sitting beside an ambassador. You will find yourself in those situations and you will be terribly surprised. How did I get here? You're there. So you have to be prepared. Increase your vocabulary by reading books, by enjoying literature. I love literature. I love a lot of um, books from the 18th century. I really do. And um, I find myself picking up bits and pieces and tying it into my vocabulary. Also, look at other people, men and women, that you admire and speak eloquently. You will find yourself looking at them and you will be seeing the whole package. How they're dressed, their makeup, their jewelry, it's a whole package. And then when they speak, chef's kiss. You're like, oh wow. Look at what they do and pick up little treats from them how they use their hands, how they sit up, how when they're speaking, they engage with eye contact. All of that is part of being so elegant. And you are always a pleasure to be around. You are enjoyable. People enjoy your presence. It's not a thing where, ah, Christina, how now? How are you? How buddy? Ah, yes, yeah, so, <laughs> we are here. That is not elegant. Oh, you're at the table, bitch, did you see? Not elegant. And I do both of them. But I also know how to speak elegantly. You can't be there and say, ah, this thing is tight. Oh, God. Ah, ah, you know what? Let, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Let me just, let me just scratch my armpit. Not elegant. Farting. Pfft. Not elegant. People do it. Then they will fan their dresses. 
I say, excuse me, excuse me. I'll be looking horrified. Like, oh wow. That is not elegant. My phone fell. Let me see, because I have a little list here. Uh, uh, uh. Also, listen to public speakers. Listen to public speaking. Listen to people that talk. A TED talk, you will love it. Uh, there are a couple of people that I really and thoroughly enjoy. And I love the way they speak. Michelle Obama, for one. I love the way that she expresses herself and she is very vivid and rich in the way that she uses her words. And I absolutely understand where she's coming from and the picture that she's painting at all times. I absolutely love her and she's funny. So these are things that you can use to speak elegantly. And last but not least, <laughs> using profanity. Oh, fuck off, that bitch. You cannot. That is not speaking elegantly at all. Having said that, every once in a while, I can see myself included where I do want to say it. And it's in my head. And I kind of say it in my head and I kind of have a little giggle if somebody is being really rude or disrespectful or whatever. But I find that I have too much respect for myself to see it, even though the other person might deserve it. Always remember who you are, always. The other day in the comment section, there was a girl who said, I was in one of the blogs and somebody was talking about me negatively. And um, she was like, oh, you know, I went up there and I told them off and I left a message there and I said, that's not who we are. You don't have to respond. The way we respond, and fulmination that is, is by being quiet, being successful, because silence is a response. No response is a response. You're not going to please everybody. That I know for a fact. As fulmination is growing bigger and bigger, you're going to have your haters and we love them because they keep you also <laughs> out there. But being elegant, speaking elegantly, also not responding to certain things. You just politely say, hmm, <laughs> that's what you do. So I hope you enjoyed this, my darlings. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Yep, yep, yep. And I will see you sooner than later. Let me know if you like this kind of makeup. Very elegant also. I would wear this to church. I will wear this to a meeting. I will wear this to lunch. I would wear this to Adrian's nursery, pick him up. Let me know. The dress is by Zara. Are we living and loving it? And uh, it's an old dress that I've had for quite a while. Old, old dress. I think I've had this dress for about five years, you know. And the mesh bra underneath is for my collection. Yes, we are testing them out. We are sampling them before we start to go into full-on production. Are we excited? <laughs> I am. All right, my darlings, I hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you what? I'll see you sooner than later. All of my love, darlings. Goodbye. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>